Today we're gonna look at 10 things you can do after Insta. Hello. Today we can. Hello. Today we are going to look at 10 things you can do or consider doing after installing Ubuntu Bachi 17.10 for the first time. First of all, we have to log in. <laughs> That's not one of them. First of all, what we need to do is to update our computer. Just to make sure our computer is fully up, up to date and you are ready to go. So let's close this. And go to updates. Software and updates. No. Let's keep it open because that's my next thing I want to focus on. Software updater. Basically this will look at all your updates and install anything that needs to be installed. Which is fantastic. And now, next thing I want to do is like to configure my updates and you can choose from what server. I'm okay with this server, it's fast enough for me, but if you want to change it, you can go to other and you can select best server like this and it will check what server is best in your area. And of course, there's a few errors. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite a nice tool to have, and it will hopefully make your updates quicker in the future. I'm okay with the one I currently have, but it's just if it's slow or anything like that, you can check it out. If you go to updates here, you can choose what up up what updates you would like to receive. How often, what should happen when you receive security updates and what should re happen when there's other updates. And when, and if you want to receive notifications for new versions of Ubuntu, which is recommended because th this release is a short term release, only supported for nine months, and the next release is the Long term release, which is supported for five years. So it will be good to upgrade to it. And you can choose if you want to have pre release updates. Yes, so basically, if you go now to. You can customize your dock. It's also a great option. As you can see, this is your dock. You can basically move this to the bottom. If you click tab and this icon, you can choose the theme, let's say mate or transparent. You can make it a zoom size. You can move them around and where you want it. And you can also choose it here. Let's say we want to at the end and at the bottom. You can go like this, you can tell what happens if the if you want the doctor height and how or not at all. And doglets you can add these doglets to your dock. It's it's a really nice tool. You can also create more docs by going to the batch settings. And say create new panel and inside panel set dog mode. And then you got yourself a little dog here and you can add applets if you want to. Yes, that's fantastic. And you can choose a new background. Actually you can take any picture you want and just click on it and say make a background or go here and find your picture colors there are new backgrounds you can choose from it's really nice let's take this clock and then you can also configure your power settings you would notice that even though you use a patchy desktop environment 
it has its own settings, we just looked at it. It's also using GNOME as the... also to as the base, and it got its own settings also. So you got two sets of settings. It can be quite confusing. And here you can set your power settings, projector, and all those things, add online accounts. It's re it will be good for you to check this out as GNOME settings. And this is GNOME 3.26.1, so it's the latest of GNOME you have. It's amazing. And yes, I would absolutely recommend you to search, look around in settings of GNOME as well as, as well as Apache and with GNOME 3.26 the software center is much quicker so you can install apps and search it out and just have a lot of fun in your software center check what is available and when the styling has become quite awesome in GNOME 3.26 as you can see you have options like this to make the one bigger than the other and files is also up to date with, with the latest and greatest of GNOME and the welcome app is also very good to check out you will be greeted it with it once when you turn, turn it on your computer and you can choose to see it every time by clicking this by default it's untick so you will only see it once and it will look like this when you get it and you can read through all of this is very important it's not too much and you can also install applets with, with like global menus and screenshots and things like that just nice little features third party features you have your sort of center which is the same as what we just looked at as well as snap apps and flat pack apps this is more packages, snap apps, I couldn't figure it out yet how it works, but if you know, please let me know and I will let you know. And then also flat pack apps works great. You will have to install flat pack first when you put a command into your terminal, but it just tells you how to install it, so it's a very nice app. And Yes, all your flat pack apps, and then you can go here and choose what you want to install. If it's like something that stands out for you, then you can just run this command in your terminal, which is so cool. Next, I want to look at is I looked at Nightlight, I got my list here GNOME apps, customized doc. Yeah, basically that is all I wanted to talk about. And all I wanted to tell you is look around, play around with the system. It's a beautiful system. Explore it. And it got many apps by default already installed. And it's just a very nice system and it's just worth checking out and getting used to this beautiful operating system made with lots of love and I can absolutely see why you would like to use this. Thank you for watching. See you later. And please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Goodbye.